Last lesson, we mentioned the word arpeggios. Moving through all the notes in a key is a scale. Here's a G major scale. So we can think of scalic motion as horizontal movement. We don't want to have them all together. They clash. Vertical movement is up the chord. So in the last lesson, the left hand played a little G major arpeggio. So instead of moving up the scale, we're moving up the chord. There's a G major arpeggio, and in the left hand, five, three, two, one, two, three, five. There's a fingering for that. In the right hand, let's try a C major arpeggio. One, two, three, five, three, two, one. The fingering there. So the exercise in this lesson is to play a G major arpeggio, followed by a C major arpeggio in the right hand. Very satisfactory sound because it makes a perfect cadence. Now we're actually going to play two octaves of each arpeggio. And again we're going to use tuckings and overings, like in the scales. So the first octave, G major arpeggio, five, three, two, one. Now if I'm going to carry on, I've had G, B, D, that's my chord, gobod, G, B, D, and a final G. If I'm carrying on, I'll need another B, D, G. We've had the third on the B there. We're going to have the same third on the next B. Over. Notice I'm starting to move plenty of time. There's no point going... and then realising I'm supposed to be playing the B now, but my finger's miles away. I'm having to jerk at it. As soon as I hit that G, my finger's moving over, ready to put the third on the B. And as soon as it's down there, I can get back to finish the next octave. Take it slowly, third over. Going down, we need to tuck the thumb under. So two octaves, G major arpeggio, left hand. And in the right hand, a C major, two octaves. Of course, it's a mirror image, so this time the tuck comes first. It's quite a difficult tuck to get your thumb right onto the next C. Once it's there, and you can spin your hand round, over with the three. So, let's see if you can play both those arpeggios, one after each other. Let's hear it one more time. This is how it should sound. One, two, three, one. Okay, you have a go.